Alright, hello. Uh, um, it's been a little while since I last uh, got on Pedro, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it back up. Uh, I've been since the last recording. I just kind of went around and got more logs, Ooh. Ooh. Um, but I had to take a break for a while. Uh, I had to go do some stuff in town. So, now... Uh, hold on, I get a phone call. Alright, sorry about that, just had to take a quick phone call. Um, Alright, so we have 11 trunks there, plus the 6 here, and 6 there. I think that's enough to complete the uh, north-east portion of the house, um, and probably finish off the east side as well. So I'm going to move these over, and you can see that the time is really long, how much time it takes to move those 11 trunks. Uh, for some reason, uh, it's kind of counterintuitive to me. Uh, if you are moving larger groups of stuff, then it is harder to do. Like, I would think that if you put, like, one trunk and moved it, it should take more time than if you were cumulatively trying to move, like, three at once. You could just, like, roll them or whatever. Um, that's kind of a usual game principle, but I guess maybe this is more realistic since it's more weight or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, let's carve these into logs. Probably only going to be able, be able to do about two or three of them before we have to pass out. Oh, apparently there are no tree trunks? That's just not true. There are ten tree trunks. There we go. Oh, I uploaded the Dwarf Fortress map to um, that site that you can see the archive of all uploaded maps. Forget what it's called. But um, if you want to see what the fortress looks like, you can go check it out there. Alright, so eat some fish, drink some water, and I think the nets are probably ready to pull up as well. Nothing there. Nine breams. Alright, well, go cook this, burn down a small tree. Put on fire. There we go. And roast these nine breams. Okay. Since I did trade away my shovel, that means that um, I'm going to have to get a different one in order to use a cellar. So I think the Islander Village has a shovel. If I need one, I can, uh, I can just make it out of wood. That takes a really long time, so I kind of would prefer to have a um a metal one Ooh. Ooh. okay uh one of the nice things about living on an island is you don't have to worry about getting attacked by anything uh there might occasionally be small animals running around on your island, uh, especially islands that are more than one 
like may uh, big map tile. Um, like this one, I think is like four or five, uh, and it kind of curves around. So on the other side of this island, if I wanted to go check, I might be able to find some sources of food out there, which would be good. Right, I'm gonna move six of these up. And that'll take less time than having to move 11 of them. Move those up. Move those here. And I'll be able to finish off one wall segment before we have to Ooh. hit the Ooh. hay again. Oh wait, yeah, I should probably put my nets down. Okay, so that's six here, six there, six there, and five here. Alright. Plus that one over there, so that's four wall segments. Alright. Building, wooden building. You want to pick an eastern wall. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And put it right here. Task aborted. You are feeling rather warm. Oh, I suddenly feel suspicious and alert. Yeah, that randomly happens sometimes. But, oh well. At least it didn't abort halfway through. I've had that happen before, where it was like four hours into building a wall, and the guy got suspicious and stopped. Wasted all that labor. But I think whenever that happens, if you've gotten hungry or thirsty since then, it gets rid of that hunger and thirst. So, at least that doesn't hurt. But it does not give you your daylight back. There we go. Finish this wall segment. Eat some more trout. Some of those burbots. Grab a drink. And we can pass out on the floor here. Alright. And we have six more logs. We will use those to make a shutter wall right here. But to do that, we need to move these boards up and then hit MB. Wooden building, shutter wall. Shutter walls are currently glitched a little bit in the current version. If you put them on the north side of your house, they get all funky. Uh, but they work on the east, south, and west sides. Just as long as they aren't on the north side, you'll be good. Okay, finished that. It looks like that put the wall on the wrong side. wonder if that's going to matter at all. Uh, we can always tear it down at the end of the process if we need to. But in order to put a door here, we need to have two standing structures, so let's have those structures. Move that down there. To build doors, all you need is boards. I think only five, but... Ah, eight boards. Okay, we need two more. Which means we're going to have to chop a new piece of wood into boards. So let's get this one. Still don't have a splitting axe. So we got to use the woodsman's axe, which takes quite a while and tires us out more and makes us hungrier faster and all that stuff. Alright. And drink some water. Ooh. And we probably need to pass out at this point. Okay, I thought we heard something rustle. Ooh. That's alright though, because it is now early morning. Ooh. Ooh. We will be needing a lot of boards for this house. Because you need a lot of boards to make a single floor tile. You need like four or five boards. 
to make a single floor tile. Maybe it's even more than that. And we're going to have to make a lot of floor tiles. Alright, but the nice thing about boards is they're pretty lightweight compared to the logs they're made of. Like, those 20 boards weigh significantly less than the one tree trunk. Okay, that definitely is odd right there. Escape. Close that. Um, not entirely sure why that was placed there. I think what might have to happen is tear down a... Oops, shift M, B, D over. We have to tear down one of these shutter walls, replace it with a regular wall, and then build the door. Uh, and that should make it aim the right way. Also, we would be able to get that shutter wall fixed. So what we'll do here is eat some more food. Ooh. Grab a drink. Ooh. Head over here and tear down this wall. Oops. MD. No, MBD. Over. Uh, and that will allow us to use those boards and logs to make a new regular eastern wall. And from that we can then uh, make a door, which hopefully will be facing the right way. Doors do work on the east and west sides. I noticed that because I have my other house with those doors in those areas. But they can be a little bit finicky. Okay. So what's probably going to happen here is we're going to spend well onto the AMs making this wall. And uh, hopefully our guy passes out like at the three hour mark. And that will cause us to complete the construction like instantaneously so he can pass out. Okay, now we're at the ready to drop stage if he just passes out. Nope. Wow, seven hours. Okay, drink some of that rainwater, pass out here. And those nets are probably going to be rotted. Oh no, I just ate some spoiled food. Oh well. My guy's going to throw up here in a bit. And all of his hunger bar will go to the max. But, that's okay. Yep, all the fish are rotten. We have enough, uh, we have enough food to get by. So we can pull more in at this point, so. No worries. Now we should be able to make a doorway here. Yeah, we just threw up. That's why our hunger is so high. And our sickness is gone. Dang it. It might have to be two standing walls surrounding it in order to make it a regular Ooh. door. It's unfortunate. Okay, move these over. Tear down this wall now. That's kind of a waste of the labor we made making those walls already, but it's needed. And we're also going to have to make another regular wall and then tear that down. Actually, maybe I just won't put shutters on the sides. I don't know. can always add those in later. Maybe that'll be a winter project or something. Okay, uh, then we can eat some more brains. And move these boards to that big pile of boards. Construct this wall. 
Now hopefully our guy passes out during the construction because he's already exhausted and it's only an hour in. Alright, ready to drop at the two hour mark. Hopefully it stops before six hours because he'll be too tired. That's the goal here. I have died. What does that even mean I have died? Because of dehydration. Well, okay, our first character is um dead. Uh survived for 38 days, wandered around 134 kilometers. Um it's kind of BS in my opinion. I believe it was raining when that happened. So, but we died of dehydration. Here's the previous uh, characters I've played as. Um, lots of them have died. One of them, the third one down, he's a cannibal. Fourth one down was a cannibal. Fifth one down is a cannibal as well, actually. Sixth one down. Um, he survived for quite a while, but I didn't have the game yet, so you die at the 10 day mark in the demo. Same with 7th. Well, that kind of sucks, uh, but I'll pick this game up pretty soon again, and we'll begin a new character, but for now, I will sign off from Unreal World and start doing some Dwarf Fortress recording. Bye-bye.